Sister, you are welcome to Jesus Christ Temple Ministry, Worry Delta State, Nigeria. Tell us your name, the person standing beside you, where you come from, and your wonderful testimony. Praise God, Church. My name is uh, Amaja Tojo Chuko, and I'm based at Agbaro. The woman standing beside me is my mother. Okay, my, I came out today to face this wonderful congregation because I want to thank God for a safe delivery. When I was seven months pregnant, I went for my first scan, and then it showed that my baby didn't turn, which is my child is in a brace situation. So the doctor told me at first that no problem, you give birth. Moreover, we have severe cases like this. Then I said, no problem. I went home. But he told me that by the end of the seven months, I should go and run another scan again. So when I went for the second scan, same thing appeared. Then I went back to the doctor. He said, no problem. I came to meet pastor. Pastor says, all is well. I have faith. You deliver safely. I went back home. Then nine months passed, no sign of labor. Ten months, no sign of labor. I went back to the doctor on Friday. Then he told me, look, I've been deceiving you all this while. Your situation is a very critical one. We can't run an induction for you. The only option we have right now is CS. Then he told me he can't perform the CS on his own. He would direct me elsewhere, big organ clinic. There they'll perform it for me. I should go and bring some of 100,000 Naira then pack my things. He's waiting for me, he will go with me. He will enter the theater with me. Then I was, I just wanted to be bold in his presence. I didn't cry, I didn't say anything. On my way back home, I started crying. Then I got to my mom at the market. I told her that this is the situation. My mom said it's a lie. We called pastor, pastor said quiet, nothing is happening. Everything will be okay. And to the glory of God, on Friday I was supposed to go in for CS. On Sunday, I put to bed a baby boy. Put your hands together for Jesus. You're not rejoicing for the testimony of our sister. Jam your hands together for Jesus. So, sister, you said when you were seven months pregnant, you went for a test. And the doctor confirmed that your baby was breached. Yes. And then you came to see the man of God. He told you that your case is settled yes. and that all is well. Yes. The pregnancy got to the 10th month and it was overdue. Yes. And still yet you haven't put to bed. No. You went to the doctor again and he said you were going to go through CS. That's an operation. Yes. And then you came to the man of God. The man of God told you to keep quiet that it is well that you give birth successfully. Yes. And when your mother took you to a midwife, Indeed, God did it and you gave birth successfully without an operation. Yes. And Put your also, hands together for Jesus. Even the doctor came to see us because he said he wants to, as in seeing is believing. The doctor didn't believe I put to bed. He came with another doctor too. Put your hands together for Jesus. To tell you that our God is a talk now, do God. Jam your hands together for Jesus. So sister, you were booked for an operation. Yes. Upon being booked for an operation, you gave birth successfully without an operation. Yes. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Yes. Our God is wonderful. So sister, what is the sex of your baby? Baby boy. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Let's rejoice with our sister. So sister, do you believe that the power of God that dwells in this ministry has led to your delivery? Absolutely. So what advice do you have for viewers all over the world? Have faith, listen to the prophet, give whatever he tells you. Put your hands together for Jesus. Mama, I want to ask you, what is your advice to viewers all over the world? My advice to the whole world is to trust in God. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. Wave and I say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 